Hi guys, um, we just got back from Half Price Books probably about 45 minutes ago. I'm wet because I had to run out to the car because I forgot a, a book fell out of the bag. So um, I did this already one time and then the camera shut off on me because I didn't have any more room. So um, I'm going to do it again. Uh, my daughter got quite a few books and I'm going to go and show you some of hers because some of them I will probably read myself. Um, and some of them I might not, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, she got Dead is the New Black by Marlene Perez for 50 cents. And I heard some stuff on this, um, so I'm going to try it, reading it too. It's only like 150 something pages. And then the second one, uh, Dead is a State of Mind by Mar Marlene Perez. This one was 348 though. Um, Oh, and then another one, Dead is So Last Year, will be coming out too, or, or is already out. So we got those two. Um, Peace, Love, and Happiness by Emily Franklin. It says, Doesn't Everyone Deserve Love? It's a principle, it's a love book. I never heard of it, but it looks pretty good for her. And it's soft. The cover is so, like, soft. Um, this one I think is pretty neat. Scrapped Princess by Akira Sakaki or something says it's actually um, inspired by the hit anime or the novel that inspired the hit anime um, and it's neat because there are pictures in here um, and they're like manga looks like so I think that makes it kind of neat too there's another one um, the Queen Geek Social Club by Laura Preble Um, Deep Down Popular by Phoebe Stone, which I like that cover. Witch Child by Celia Reese, she got for 50 cents. This one's pretty neat too. This one she paid $3.54. Well, not really because everything was 20% off, but Scarlet and Crimson, Dark Stars Rising. And the inside is, well, first of all, I don't know if you can see that on the edges. It says Dark Stars. It is so neat. And then the pictures in here are neat. It's like the pages are like stiff, but I like it. But the pictures are cool. So I like that. It's like this. It has like a red scribbly thing. Um... And then she got her Princess in Waiting by Meg Cabot. And her Princess in Love by Meg Cabot. Because she does have some of these. She's got Meg Cabot, Avalon High. And those three were a dollar each. And I think this one was a dollar too. Uh, Crunch Time by Maria Fredericks. She got some other ones too, but they're more like younger um the ones i got i'm gonna do my clearance ones first and then i'll do i got one two three four five six seven eight eight at regular price um i didn't realize i got so many at regular price um audrey wait by robin benway for a dollar and i actually someone did a review on this and i can't remember who and it didn't sound that bad so um i went ahead and got it Bloom by Elizabeth Scott for 50 cents. Um, I got another one by her, I thought. See, I can't find any of my... Oh, here. Perfect You by Elizabeth Scott for 50 cents. I like this cover, too. Uh, Disenchanted Princess by Julie Linker. Um... If I Have a Wicked Stepmother, Where's My Prince by Melissa Cantor, and that was for 50 cents. Oh My Stars by Lorna Landvik for 50 cents. And it says it's the best, she's the best selling author of Angry Housewives Eating Bonbons. Okay. Um, that title doesn't appeal to me, but this book didn't seem so bad. And now that I'm looking at it, though, 
the font is really small. So good thing I only paid 50 cents for it because I might not be able to read it. We'll see. Um, when It Happens by Suzanne Calasante, Calasanti, 50 cents. I like that cover too. Positively by Courtney Scheinmel for a dollar. Then this one, um, I never heard of it, but I got it because it's about a girl whose mom dies of AIDS, and the girl's, I think, eight years old, and she actually has HIV too, so it's about her living with it in that. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, and then the ones I paid full price for is Leaving Paradise by Simone Alcalaz for $4.98. The Devouring by Simon Holt for $3.98. And that's kind of cool because I have, I just bought, remember, uh, the Solstice or whatever it's called. Um, so now I got both of those. Um, this one, I've never heard of this author before, but this book sound pretty good. So I got two of these books, or his books, um, and it's by Simon Pulse, the publishers, and they're good. Rash by Pete Hoffman. And it says on the front, in the year 2074, French fries are illegal, football has been banned, and running isn't just for your health anymore. So that sounds pretty good. It's about, you know, based in the future and about just how things have changed. And so a lot of things are illegal now, or then. Um, and then I got Godless by him also, and this was a National Book Award winner. And this one's about a boy that his parents are really religious and he doesn't like their religion, so he tries to start his own as the water tower, uh, being their god and um, who they worship. And he um, recruits some friends. So, And then, of course, things start to go wrong. Um, I never heard of this author either, but this book sounded really good. Before I Die by Jenny Downham for $7.98. And this is about a girl that's dying, and she makes a list of things she wants to do before she dies. Um, the Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak for $5.98. Extras by Scott Westerfeld for $4.98. Now I have all of these. So I have Uglies that I just read, then Pretty Specials, and Extras. And this last one I'm so excited about because um, actually somebody recommended to, recommended it to me, and I will tell you in a minute who it was because I forgot. Uh, Snowfire 7. Snowfire 7 recommended three books to me, and they had one of them there, and it's Whistling in the Dark by Leslie Kagan for $6.98. So I am really excited about this one because these are the type of books that I love, um, like uh, The Promise Not to Tell. Um, Death and Life with Charlie St. Cloud. I was asking for my recommendations, and so I'm really excited to read this one. So that is my book haul from Half Price Books. They're 20% off sale. Everything was 20% off. So uh, With tax, though, because tax in Illinois is 9.25%, which is pretty high compared to us in Indiana, which is 7%. So, um, yeah. But, um... I really just, I can't buy any more books. I was off of work. Um, I took a Sunday off last week because when I got my tooth done. Um, so this check's going to suck tomorrow. It's really going to be bad. So I really can't, I just can't spend any more money. So hopefully nothing comes up on my good reads wish list because that's very hard for me to decline. Um, they had Splendor or Splendid, Splendid there. Um, Oh my gosh, I completely dropped you guys. I am so sorry. Um, they had by Anna Godberson, how, you, how I have the Lux. They had Splendor, and I was going to get it. But I'm like, you know what? I think that was like the last one in the series. So I'm like, I'm just going to wait. So I didn't get it. Anyways, I'm going to go, guys, because um, this is getting pretty long. All right, thanks. Oh, and you know what? I have 75, 74, 75 subscribers now. So that is completely awesome. I love all you guys. I love doing this. I love this the book community, everybody's so awesome, and it's just pretty cool. So 
25 more and then uh, somebody wins a book. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.